The electrified 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray offers hypercar speed for a fraction of the cost of Ferrari and McLaren. Painted on the wall of Pikes Peak International Raceway in big numbers is a sign that reads 5,360 feet. Located high in the mountains of Fountain, Colorado, people used to call this track the fastest one-mile paved oval anywhere. But PPIR hasn't hosted a professional race since 2005, and the only signs of life these days are prairie dogs occupying the planned but unbuilt bleacher footings. Typically, this type of altitude has a major effect on vehicles. Rough numbers suggest your standard combustion engine loses about 3% of its power for every 1,000 feet of elevation gained, which would mean pretty significant losses for naturally aspirated engines this high in the Rockies. But the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray isn't afraid of a little elevation. Hidden beneath the center tunnel and shoehorned between the front seats is an axle-mounted electric motor, the first of its kind on a Corvette. It gives the E-Ray an extra 160 horsepower and 125 pound-feet over the standard C8 regardless of elevation, resulting in a combined output of 655 horsepower and 595 lbft. For those of you keeping count at home, that's nearly as much power as the Corvette Z06 and more torque than the McLaren Archura. The technical details of the E-Ray's in-house electrified setup are mind-numbingly complex. But if it were an excerpt in the book Engineering for Dummies, it'd boil down to a single electric motor powered by a 1.9 kilowatt hour battery pack, small, by EV and hybrid standards, and paired with Chevy's ubiquitous 6.2 liter V8 engine. Power is sent to all four wheels, another first for the Corvette, and an eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox manages it all. While I figured this car would be quick based on the numbers, I had no idea how quick. Down the makeshift drag strip at PPIR, basically, pit lane in reverse, the E-Ray accelerates with enough brutality to pulverize my face and send the butterflies in my stomach fluttering. It has the type of neck snapping acceleration typically reserved for performance EVs from Tesla or Lucid. The E-Ray has a hypercar rivaling 2.5 seconds to 60 miles per hour time and continues onto a blistering quarter mile time of 10.5 seconds. Both of those figures, again, are better than the Z06, even though this version is around 300 pounds heavier and the E-Ray reaches 60 quicker still than the Ferrari 296 GTB, McLaren Archura and Acura NSX Type S, hell, it's only two-tenths of a second shy of the Bugatti Chiron. The secret to that absurd straight-line speed is a clever electrified launch control system that yanks on the front tires at a rate of 1,020 lbft of torque the second you press the go pedal. The electric motor works in unison with the V8 engine, which kicks on quickly post-launch to help keep the momentum going up to 150 miles per hour. At that point, the electric motor disengages and drivers have to rely exclusively on the V8. Chevy says most customers won't be hitting those speeds, anyway. I certainly wasn't touching 150 in the E-Ray even down the fastest street of PPIR. But the mighty duo of a torquey electric motor and Chevy's sumptuous 6.2 liter V8 engine were still powerful at speeds of 110. With the brake-based torque vectoring system, there is no clutch on the front axle, doling out power with deliberate precision in corners. You can feel the electric all-wheel drive system helping the car out of slower corners with an instant jolt of electric torque. 